Hi there, I'm Randy Keith, I'm the Piatt County Chairman. Uh, I want to welcome you Governor Rauner here today. We're so pleased to have him with us. Uh, most of my constituents, uh, we believe he's our best bet. Uh, too long, things have been going on in Springfield. We, we know they're bad, but we've had no hope that we can get cleaned up. I think most of my constituents right now have a lot of hope that Governor Rauner will be able to take care of these things. When he talks about unfunded mandates, that hits home for local governments. Uh, there's a cost to these things. And sometimes it's hard for us to get Springfield to understand that. I think with the governor's help uh, going forward, this is going to be much better for local governments. And Can I ask what your most burdensome uh, unfunded mandate is? Well, the one that just locally uh, recently happened was the, uh, the jury. We have to pay the, the jurors more cost. Well, for a small county of 17,000, they didn't send a check with it. Yeah. <laughs> Our budgets are already set. Yeah. So uh, thanks again, everyone, for uh, coming out. Uh, it, I've been in Decatur a lot the last few years. I want to be here a lot as governor because I care deeply about Decatur and Macon County, as I, as I mentioned to the group earlier. It's a bellwether for how the state of Illinois goes. And Decatur is suffering. High unemployment, high taxes, deteriorating schools, um, struggling uh, taxpayers and str struggling working families. And we've got to change that. The challenge is we've got to get the power away from the Springfield special interest groups and empower local voters to get control of their own tax burden, their own schools, their local economies. That's what our turnaround agenda is about, is empowering local voters. Local voters should decide their costs in, in their county government, in their city governments. What gets collectively bargained, what doesn't. Who has to join a union, who doesn't. Local voters should decide what goes on in their schools. If they want a strong teachers union, every teacher joins a union, fine. If they want more flexibility with their teachers and they want to decide that certain things can be collectively bargained and others aren't, that local voters should decide these things for their schools, for their local governments, and for their local economy. If uh, here in Macon County, Macon County wants closed shop rules and strong unions in the private sector, terrific, we can keep that. But if Macon County or, or uh, the community of Forsyth or the community of Mount Zion would rather have employment flexibility and uh, employee empowerment zones, they should be able to do that and decide for themselves. So here, uh, local communities can compete with Indiana that's gone right to work, compete with Texas, compete with Michigan to create more jobs, more companies coming here to uh, gr grow their businesses in Illinois. Local control, voter empowerment is the key to turning our state around.